In part one, we looked at a tilted cylindrical glass which was filled with water that covered half the base and touched the bottom lip of the glass at the top. Our goal was to determine the volume of the water using thin triangular slices and then integrating the area function of the slices along the diameter, that is from here to here. The first step was to determine the area function for a triangular slice we created, triangle EFD, here, in terms of the height and the radius of the cylinder and the variable DE. And what we came up with was this uh, equation right here. The area of EFD is equal to the height divided by twice the radius times ED squared. Because we are looking to integrate along the diameter, let's look at a head-on view of the base of the cylinder. And so we'd get the following. Let's move that up a little bit. So we would have the base. We've got the diameter and the center. And that glass is filled with water to half the base. And we have a triangular slice ABC. And a triangular slice DEF. And because we have a head-on view, we can think of this as a circle drawn around the origin of the x and y axis, like so. Triangle EFD, then, is some distance x away from the origin. The side DE here is some distance y below the x-axis. And from the origin to E is the radius of the circle. Or in our case, the radius of the cylinder. And we know that angle CDE is a right angle. Therefore, using Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And given that y is the distance ED, x squared plus ED squared equals r squared. What we want to do is isolate the variable ED. So we move the x squared to the other side. We subtract x squared from both sides. So we end up with ED squared equals r squared minus x squared. And what we end up with is a relationship between the distance ED, the constant r, and x.